Many people believe that Jesus was a poor man. You hear many a preacher talk about how this poor person with raggedy clothes, and he was dwelling in the, uh, in the streets, the dusty streets of Palestine, dirty and grimy, was a threat to the Romans and the, uh, and the Jewish Sanhedrin. He was a threat to them, and, and he was just this poor, humble man from Nazareth. But when you look at the historical evidence, Jesus was actually a very wealthy man. Jesus actually owned a couple of, probably a couple of homes, was a taxpayer, and when you read of the gifts that he was given in Matthew, the second chapter, of gold, frankincense, and myrrh, you have to remember this is Parthian nobility. They didn't come with, as I said earlier, uh, gold and frankincense and myrrh that you could fit in the palm of your hands. They came with a caravan full of uh, these items, and Jesus became a very wealthy person. Let me just read to you from this book again on page 306. It says here, A third reason that enabled Jesus to go wherever he wished and do whatever he pleased was the fact that Jesus was wealthy. The Parthian Magi had given Jesus costly gifts of gold, myrrh, and frankincense. We are not told how much gold and costly spices were given to Jesus, but it was no doubt a substantial amount. The Parthians regarded Jesus as royalty. And it was the ancient custom to give a royal personage a truly worthy gift when coming into his presence. Since the Parthian Magi were directed to Jesus by an angel of God, their sense of awe likely resulted in unusual large gifts being given to Jesus. This gold was likely held in trust for him until he was older. Of course, it was kept in trust by Joseph. And when he reached legal adulthood, Jesus controlled it. Also, since Jesus' mentor, Joseph of Arimathea, was also wealthy, one can be sure Jesus shared in that wealth. In all cultures and times, wealth can open a lot of doors. So Jesus, financially, was wealthy due to the gifts, due to Joseph of Arimathea, and that's the reason why he, he and his uh, disciples could give to the poor. It was also why Judas stole from the treasury because there was probably a lot of money in that treasury that they had. So Jesus was a wealthy man. He wasn't some poor wretch dwelling in the dust of Palestine, all dirty and grimy. He was a wealthy man. Why do you think the Romans uh, wanted his clothing when he was on the cross? They, they, were, uh, they were gambling for his clothes. Well, because he was a wealthy man, had nice clothes. So Jesus was a wealthy man.